Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Rihanna Epperson, and welcome to Thoughts with an Eight Year Old. Welcome, my brother Dylan. So, this is not the first time he's been on my channel, but this is the first time we are going to hear a little something something from him. And he's been wanting to do this for a while. So, it's called Thoughts of an Eight Year Old because my brother just turned eight, and I thought it would be cool to get his thoughts on some stuff. Okay, so, I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. I have a bunch of questions here for you, and you just have to tell me your answer. Okay. Alright? Dylan, what is the meaning of love? You're sharing respect to other people, and you give nice thoughts to everybody. If you could do anything right now, what would you do? Go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Go to sleep? <laughs> no! <laughs> what you wanna, you're supposed to say, I want to be doing the video with you. What's your dream job? I've never thought of that. Let me think. To be a manager. To be a manager? Mm -hmm. Of what? What kind of a company? A hotel. A hotel? A hotel manager. What's the best thing about life? Just to play all day. Play all day. And school. And school. Weirdo. What are you scared of? Spiders. Spiders? Uh huh, that's it. Just spiders. Mm -hmm. What about cockroaches? Yeah. Yeah. See, it's not the spiders. <laughs> cockroaches and all the eeky things. Okay, where's the next place you want to travel to and why? Japan. And because I I have this problem that I, it caught, it makes me sneeze a lot at school from the air pollution from here. So you think it's cleaner in Japan? Mm -hmm. That's why you want to go to Japan? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of other places that are not polluted. But why Japan? How do you know it's not polluted in Japan? That told me. What else is in Japan that you want to see? Food. That's Just okay. see the food, not eat the food. I'll eat the food. But you don't like Japanese food. Every time we have Japanese dinner, you're like, mm, I don't like that. But one Japanese food I had, it was, I think it was like a noodle. Ramen? And you like the karaage. Yeah, karaage. Okay. What's your favorite memory? What do you mean? A memory is like a specific time or event that happened that you enjoyed. Um, I traveled to Singapore. And how was it? What did you do there? Mostly play. Just play. Mm -hmm. So basically, playing is your life. Mm -hmm. When do you think you stop playing in life? I'll never stop playing. That's a good answer. Why do you think people get married? Or else they won't have money and they can't get a job or get a baby if they want for their future. You can you can have a job and you can have money even if you're not married. You can have a kid even if you're not married. What? <laughs> oh my god, it's not supposed to know that. What makes you sad? Like get like get grounded, something like that. When you get grounded? What happens when you get grounded? What aren't you allowed to do? Everything. Everything? Can't play my iPad, can't watch TV, can't play at the park, can't do anything. And that's it. That's not so bad. <laughs> what do you think I do when I'm not at home? I never thought of that. Drink coffee? Drink coffee. <laughs> what do you enjoy doing with me? It took me a laser tag just now. So yeah, today we celebrated his birthday by going to laser tag. And it was so fun. I haven't played laser tag in forever and he had the best time. Mm -hmm. Before it used to be going to time zone. Now mm -hmm. it's going to be that. Oh, it's going to be tough to beat. Okay, what do you think about Donald Trump? He's a weirdo. He's a weirdo. I agree. Why do you think he's a weirdo? <laughs> People say his chin's like this. His chin's like that? <laughs> How do you think he's doing being president? Thumbs down, thumbs down. He's not a good president. Who do you think's a better president? Obama. Obama. <laughs> now there's someone who knows politics. High five. What's the hardest thing about being a kid? To me, it's my legs. Huh? What do you mean? Like, because my dad and me, when we walk uh, all the time. Okay, it's hard being a kid because your legs are too short and dad's legs are long. Right? So he's like, he's like, <laughs> yeah, like he's walking like big steps, but then you're like, <laughs> I have to run or walk or like jog. You have to jog just to keep up with this. 
<laughs> okay, I get it. If you had one million pesos, what would you do with it? Give it to the poor people. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Hmm. Can you repeat that again? What is your favorite thing about yourself? Why well, you don't like yourself? I'm thinking. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Let's skip that one. No, we're not skipping that one. <laughs> again? Because I look handsome. <laughs> Look at that camera and give them your most <laughs> handsome face. Oh god. You want to go to college? I guess. Do you know what college is for? To teach people. You're not teaching people in college. People are still teaching you. But when you go to college, you learn about specific things. Like I took up marketing, that's about business. But you can take up other things like medicine and be a doctor, about food so you can be a chef. Or about, like you, you want to be a hotel manager, you can learn about that in college. But it's more specific and focused topics. Okay. Is that too difficult for you to process? Two out of ten. Two out of ten. I know what you mean, but to me it looks hard. Yeah, it is hard. College is a little bit hard. If you could time travel, would you go into the future or into the past? Into the past. What's in the past that you want to see? Cars weren't invented, motorcycles weren't invented. Everything there were cars! They didn't have cars. They didn't have cars in 1918? I don't know. Let me check. Wait, stay there. Ha ha ha. So I'm right. <laughs> they made cars in 1878. So 100 years ago, they would have had cars. How about 4,400? Well, there were no cars 4,456 million years ago. So I'm right. No, I gave you two options: 100 in the past or 100 in the future. You said 100 in the past because they don't have cars, but they do have cars. What? What? What's your favorite thing to do with the family? Play. Skidoosh. Okay, so we have this card game called Skidoosh. And um, it's based on the movie Kung Fu Panda and Po like holds the pinky, right? And he's of like Tai Long. Of Tai Long and then he goes Skidoosh and he blows up. Anyway, that's just what we named the game because it was funny, right? It's a card game. It's a card game, which I will not tell you how we play. Maybe it will be in one of the vlogs. It's actually a card game that I invented. Not really invented. I did invent the game. Let's see, who invented the Skadoosh game? Me! What happened if somebody invented the Skadoosh yeah, I mean, game I don't know. before you? Yeah, we don't know if it was already invented before me, but no one else called it Skadoosh. Who did it? Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much, Dylan, for answering all of my questions. Stop that! <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a... Thumbs up! Thumbs up! Hey, we didn't even practice that. Nice one. If you like this video, don't forget to... Subscribe. And, of course, to click the little bell button down below so you get a notification for every time I post a video. So, thank you, Dylan, for joining me today. Do you want to say anything to anyone? Peace.